Tonight, wildfires still roaring and still burning out of control through Northern California's famed wine country. The destruction devastating, even for those who live hundreds of miles away from the fire zone here in the Southland. It's just really hard to wrap your head around that they lost everything. Mm -hmm. But they're okay. They're okay, yeah. So, so thankful for that. Mm -hmm. Peyton worried about her sister Ashley, her brother-in-law, and their 15-month-old daughter. They live in Santa Rosa, one of the areas hardest hit by the wildfires. This is their condo, or, or what's left of it now, after being forced to evacuate in the middle of the night. They left with just their clothes that they were wearing and Harper's diaper bag. Mm -hmm. And then they came back the next day around 12, 1230, and saw that everything was gone, burned to the ground. The wildfires also hitting home for so many of us here who enjoy wine from the world famous Napa Valley. It is devastation. That the reaction is the wildfires have already destroyed some wineries like Signorello Estates on the Silverado Trail. Other vineyards also said to be severely damaged, leaving wine lovers here at the Rosa Wine Shop in Glendale worried about the loss of the grapes that still haven't been harvested. The winemaker was in, in, in the field. Uh, Literally, the, uh, you know, the, the, the grass between the rows was singed, but he tasted the fruit, which was fully physiologically ripe. So it had absolutely no sense of smoke taint. So it looks like a lot of the fruit, if the vineyard hasn't gone, the fruit has survived. While others like Peyton are left setting up a GoFundMe page trying to help relatives who the wildfires have now forced to start their lives all over again. It's super awesome that everybody in the community has wanted to step up and help because they both went to CV and that's actually where they met. So everybody in the community has helped out a lot. And now live, everybody here has helped out a lot, she says, donating clothes and, of course, the financial donations coming into that GoFundMe page just set up two days ago to give you some idea and already $7,000 plus coming in in donations. For now, we are live La Crescenta. Back to West L.A. we go.